going to do a video regarding on how we filed our I-129F packet petition for alien fiancé. So, ito po ay copy lamang ng aming ginawa or pinasang packet to USCIS last year which we got approved. So, uh, I'm going to show you how we compiled, organized, and answered um, the forms na kailangan yung ipasa sa inyong petition. So, keep on watching. So, let's start. So, sa first page po, I did a parang cover book of our pictures. Hindi nyo naman, hindi siya requirement na gawin, but I just did it kasi yung mas maganda tingnan. And then, I put I want to 9F petition for insert your name. Insert your name. And then, submitted by Put your husband's or your petitioner's name here. So after that is the cover letter. As you can see, um, may nakatakip dito. It's it's because it's my name. I put my name, my address, my contact number or email address. Anything na makakapag contact sila sa you is you have to put it there. And then. I put United States Department of Homeland Security, USCIS, PO Box, and then the address. After that, I just put the contents na kasama, which is the filing fee, um, to buy the photos of petitioner and beneficiary, form G1145, form I129F, so you have to include kung ilang pages. And then, supplement the form I-129F, copy of Certificate of Naturalization, um, Petitioner's Birth Certificate, and Passport, Letters of Intent to Marry, both of you. So, hindi lang ikaw or siya, dalawa kayo. So, your birth certificate and your passport. And then, proof of meeting and ongoing relationship. So, Pending pictures, plane ticket, ito yung sinama ko. Um, letters, hotel receipts, bank statement, engagement ring receipt, chat conversations, and call logs. And then you have um, the petitioner needs to sign here. Okay? And then next is the G1145. Basically, it's just a, a e notification application. So, Ito-text ka nila or i-email nila sa'yo once na receive na nila yung packet na pinadala mo. So, what is the purpose of this form? Use this form as a request to request an electronic notification when USCIS, USCIS accepts your immigration application. So, may sasagutan lang kayo dito yung name, contact number, email address. And then, yun. Yun lang. Basically, isisend lang nila sa inyo na or ito notify lang nila kayo once na approve na nila. I, I mean, pag natanggap na nila yung packet. So, next is the I-129F form. So, guys, ito yung medyo tricky dito. Manami akong napapanood na nandedenay sila because expired na yung nata-download na lang form. I have to remind you na nagpapalit yung form. Hindi ko alam kung take every kailan, but na-expire siya, guys. So, you have to check the expiration date. So, you have to answer the forms. Hindi ko na siya masyadong iisa-isahin. Basta, ang payo ko lang, you have to read it one by one. Kailangan wala kayong mamiss. Kung hindi, baka ibalik sa inyo or worse is madinay. And ang importante lang naman dito is yung sign. Sign nyo. Which is on the page number 10. Page 10 po siya. Aside, actually lahat naman importante but Meron kasi ako nakikita na nakakalimutan nilang mag-sign. 
So, ang nangyayari, dinidinay ang application. Because, walang sign. Importante po ang sign and date. Okay? And then, meron din po ditong um, part, which is page 8, na tinatanong kung paano kayo nagkakilala. You have to explain it here. Yun nga lang, maliit masyado yung space. So, pwede kayong gumawa ng additional space, parang Microsoft Word. Uh, you can type it there. And then, lagay nyo lang dyan. Yun nga lang, kailangan nyo mag-sign. Binler ko po ah. Kasi, of course, this is private matters. So, I hope you understand. And then, mag-sign siya dito. And then, date. And then, certificate of naturalization. Photocopy lang. And then, um, birth certificate ni petitioner. And then, his passport. All pages po. With sign. Kasi, makikita nyo dito may sign and name with date. Kasi, pinadala niya sa akin yun through DHL. Yung mga kasama ng ITR, ganyan. So, kailangan with sign para talagang proof na galing sa kanya. So, importante rin po yung mate stamp. Nung kailan siya umuwi. And then, letter of intent. So, um, gagawa na lang ako ng separate video on how I did my cover letters and um, my letter of intent. My letter of intent and his letter of intent. I also included my birth certificate and uh, my passport. So, kasama, isang packet lang to guys ha, pag pinasa nyo. Hindi lang kasha sa isa ko, kaya I have to use another one. So, proof of meeting and proof of ongoing relationship. So, ginawa ko, parang gumawa, ginamit ko din yung, um, yung pay, um, cover book na ginawa ko. I just put proof of meeting and proof of ongoing relationship with ito yung mga laman. So, this is just pictures of us together with our family and his family. With his family and my family as well. So, ang important lang naman dito guys is yung date saan at kung sino yung kasama nyo. So, kagaya nito. Importante yan. Okay? And then, um, chat logs. This is our chat logs. And explain ko lang kasi Tagalog eh. So, kung yung um, foreigner naman yung, yung fiancé nyo, you don't have to worry about it. Pero ako, I just did it. And then, call logs. Call logs. And then, other proof. Like, airline ticket, engagement receipt, hotel receipt, bank statement. So, ito yung ticket niya nung umuwi siya. Um last year and then hotel receipts um engagement receipts uh, engagement engagement receipt receipt lang <laughs> isa lang siya so if you copy ko lang and then i also included this original and then bank statement hinahilite lang namin yung kumbaga magkasama kami ng ginamit niya so that's all guys itong updated chat logs is pag magpupunta na kayo sa US Embassy. That's why I did this. Para in case hinanap sa akin. Um, fortunately, hindi ako hinanapan ng kahit ano. Walang hiningi sa akin paperwork. Swerte. At <laughs> I was approved right away. And wala nang hiningi sa akin mga other um, paperwork. So, after one week na naset ni padala ni fiancé yung packet um, nakareceive kami ng notice of action this is the NOAA one kung maririnig nyo to sa lahat ng nagbavlog yung NOAA one this is, ito yung unang letter na matatanggap nyo after you you send your packet so makikita nyo dito I-192F petition for alien fiancé and then the fee is $535 so, nakpang ko lang kasi I have my name here and alien number which is very important. And then, yeah. 
that's all. Um, next video ko po, I will um, explain or show the know what to. No one want to know what to explain ko lang din parehas again. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope na may natutunan kayo and please um, don't forget to subscribe. Madami pa akong i-upload na videos regarding um, my petition yung ongoing uh, adjustment of status ko. I'll also share it here. And thank you. Have a nice day.